Hi guys, Mark here. Welcome today to Pool Moto here in the south of England. And today we're going to be taking out the Vosges AC 525X. Stay tuned. Well, hi guys, Mark here, and welcome today to a review on the Vosges AC 525X. As I said, many thanks again to Paul Moto here in the south of the UK for lending me this bike today. So we're just going to run through all the specifications, go for a little test ride on it, on some A roads, dual carriageways, through town, finish off with a final thoughts. So price on these coming in at 5799, 5799 pounds plus the on the road. Now AC, I've looked up on their website, is they're kind of calling that advanced classic. And if I stand back, you know, it really does look nice. I mean, I've been meaning to ride one of these for a while now, and in the flesh, I'm very, very impressed with the, uh, the fit and finish, the way it looks. There's some nice spec on this bike that we'll run through in a minute. But, you know, first impressions and the way it rides, very good at the moment. It's got an in increased capacity from the previous model. 494cc parallel twin double overhead cam. This is A2 license compatible. Putting in a shade under 47 horsepower at 8,500 RPM. So not a high revving engine, lots of torque, lots of low down pull, really good for sort of um, road use. Torque is 44 Newton meters at 7,000 RPM. Weight on these, 198 kilos wet weight. I've taken that from the actual book itself, from the manual. Quite a tall seat, very, very comfortable, very supportive. 845 mil seat, um, as it is a scrambler style, sort of semi off road bike, it does have to be sort of quite tall. So just take a look at me on the bike. As a reference, I'm five foot seven, 170 centimeters, with a 30 inch inside leg. So just so you can compare that for yourself. Got a nice big fuel tank on these, 19 litres. These engines are very economical. You should get an easy 60 to the gallon. So that's, that's UK gallons. So you're gonna get over 200 mile range, which is superb. Tires, we've got a 110 on the front and a 150 on the rear and these are Good tyres, Metzler Torrance with a semi knobbly tread pattern, which means you can go on sort of light tracks and trails with these. Cross spoked wheels, all keeping in the theme of the Scrambler. The engine looks very nicely made, all the castings, high level exhaust there, sounds excellent. Six-speed transmission, nice smooth shifting there. Got a seven inch, very nice color TFT screen with loads of info, we'll go through that a bit later on. LEDs all round, quite a nice detail here on the indicators. Sort of flashes around the outside here, it's quite nice. 
twin front discs, petal discs, with again decent calipers, two piston sliding calipers by Nissin, and a single Nissin caliper on the back. Upside down front forks, again by a quality manufacturer, KYB, KYB, non-adjustable but seem to be absolutely fine. And we have a monoshock in there which is adjustable for preload. Service intervals on these, again taken from the manual, 6,000 kilometres, which comes in at around about 3,700 miles. These aren't expensive to service. You know, it's going to be quite a cheap bike to run, I would have thought. And they come in a grey and a black. But looking around the bike, you know, I really do like this sort of scrambler style. Um, under the seat, there's a tiny bit of storage. We've got a little tiny bit there and a tiny bit in there, but not much, mainly just ECU and, and battery. Right guys, let's go for this test ride. Okay guys, Vosge AC525X. What a stunning looking bike. Let's try this out. So when you first get on it, I mean, I'm not that tall, 5'7". It is a tall bike. I'm, I'm on the balls of my feet, not tiptoes, but on the balls. So, but it still feels very, very comfortable when you first climb aboard. Big wide bars, you know, feels very commanding. Decent sort of weight, not super light, but not too heavy, just a nice weight. Suspension at the back feels quite soft, so that'd be ideal for off-road. So just run through all the controls. Cable clutch, which is nicely span adjustable. Headlight flasher. That's your menu, menu scroll and enter, hazards, indicators and horn. Over this side we have a front brake which is span adjustable and your start and stop switch. It's nice and simple. So very nice colour TFT on this. Just show you all this. So loads of information there. You can actually change that for another style. There's two, two to choose from. Fuel gauge, gear indicator, speedo, revs, engine temperature, trip meters, uh, tire pressure monitoring on this, which I didn't know it had, so that's good. Um, ambient temperature, which is nice, 18 degrees today. Clock, all your warning lights at the side. So if you hold the enter button, it takes you into like all the... Uh, all the settings. There's a lot on this bike, a bit more than I thought there would be. You've got Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, um, My Vehicle. Let's have a look at My Vehicle. There's all the information on it, look. Currently showing 57 to a gallon. So, uh, yeah, looks really, really nice. Right, let's start her up. Oh, wow. And since you start it up, it has a great sound, this bike does. Really good, much better than I thought it was going to be. So easily into first gear and a very smooth pull away. Let's try out on the, on the open road now. Okay, out on the open road on the Vosges 525. What a lovely place to be. Very, very comfortable, lovely riding position and a nice punchy parallel twin engine. So just starting off with the mirrors, nice and clear not vibrating it at all. I can see about 20% of my elbows, but good decent mirrors. Fabulous colour TFT there, very very bright. Um, it does auto dim in the dark as well. I can see speed, gear, fuel, engine temperature, ambient temperature, everything very easily. Tire pressures, trip, that is a very, very nice TFT, one of the nicest I've seen. So riding position, as you'd expect on a Scrambler style bike, totally upright. Nice, really nice, big, high, wide bars, giving lovely riding position, nice control. Legs are pretty much straight down. Nicely sculpted into the tank. So the parallel twin engine, we just open up a bit, really pulls strongly through that mid-range. See, I, I reviewed the 300 AC last week, 
this is just a bigger beefier more powerful version of that really with a taller riding position all the switch gear it's nice and tactile very easy to use all right we're just trying the brakes out front and rear nothing behind wow oh abs was clicking in then so yeah pretty good brakes i mean they are still bedding in first gear pulls very nicely through that mid-range and it makes such a great sound as well so as you can see nice and easily up to 60 miles an hour another thing to note about this bike the suspension is very very compliant very very plush indeed if you did take this off-road on some you know lumps and bumps I'd say it'd be absolutely fine Mets the Torrance tires you know they're semi knobblies but they feel absolutely fine on the road okay suspensions very very well well damped and plush so that's excellent but right, we're just coming on to a dual carriageway now just to see how the Vosges handles the slightly higher speeds Currently in fourth gear. Loads of pull through that mid range. Really, really good. And very, very easily up to an indicated 70 miles an hour. Engine feels very relaxed. We're turning over just over 5,500 RPM. Minimal vibration coming through the engine totally acceptable if I open it up at this speed yeah it pulls very strongly in top gear just slow it down a bit just to see what that top gear acceleration is like so 50 top gear wide open and there's your 70 miles an hour nice and easy so it's very very effortless at the higher speed it's very very windy today bike feels very composed it's a very nice riding position feels very stable exceptionally comfortable riding position ergonomics and um, suspension so it just makes for a really nice ride visibility at the mirrors is all good I just drop it down to fifth and go up to 70 again there's over 6,000 revs now and a tiny tiny buzz coming through the uh, foot pegs but all in all to totally acceptable levels of vibration nothing bad whatsoever so there we are guys the Vosges at the higher speeds totally acceptable nice relaxed engine smooth I say you could easily ride this all day very good brakes I mean they're still bedding in but excellent so all good guys for the Vosges at the higher speeds right so what's the Vosges like in town currently in second gear 2000 revs just checking the fueling all very smooth into third nice gentle throttle response not snatchy at all plenty of plenty of pull for low rpm and because it's quite a tall bike with a nice wide handlebar it feels really controllable very commanding position with great visibility just trickling along here now a walking pace very very controlled fueling fuel injection feels superb clutch is light down into first all nice light clutching gearbox so into third gear now still pulls really nicely it's 
quite happy at the low RPMs in third gear just trickling along now just over 2,000 revs no sort of uh, hunting surging or sort of chugging away in the gearbox or the drive chain drive chain so um absolutely fantastic there you go guys look Vosges 500 through town really really nice and predictable that's all good what I love about this engine is it you know it's got some nice sort of like characterful vibes to it you know it's, it thumps away beneath you with a great sound but it's not it's not intrusive it's just got tons of character and it's really 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 nice and if you open it up look fourth gear through that mid-range look gather speed very quickly we're very very easily up to 60 miles an hour and at 60 miles an hour we're doing under 5,000 rpm so I say it's a very relaxed engine there's next to no vibrations at this sort of speed nice handling let's just try those brakes out again front and rear together oh yeah very strong third gear winding out through that lovely mid-range I say maximum power is produced to 8,000 on this engine so you know you don't really need to rev it that high you, you know that lovely four five six mid-range is where it's at really wind blast as always with these naked bikes totally acceptable nice little uh, fly screen there winds coming up off that nicely the dash is still very easy to read very bumpy down here it's a very very comfortable ride that brake has got a nice bit of bite to it yeah this is a good fun machine great soundtrack nice strong engine economical yeah if you were looking for something a little bit different with a nice sort of classic scrambler look I would definitely uh, have a look at one of these and I'll try and have a go on one just uh, see how it pulls up this hill currently in top gear winding it up yeah very very impressive loads of torque so this could be a bike for all sorts of riding commuting you could tour on this put some panniers on the back country rides on a Sunday and just stand back and admire it take a look around it shall we lovely god doesn't it sound good right easily into first and easily into neutral I'll just leave it running with the indicators and the high beam on so you can have a look at that very nice easy to find side stand So I do like the indicators, nice sort of detail and a very bright, nice distinctive headlight there. Real light. Brilliant stuff. That's a very good bike, very enjoyable to ride. Anyway, let's take a look round, shall we? So the overall build quality, um, you know, these engines when it was uh, 
in the sort of 500 adventure style that's like a, it was like a clone of the cb500 engine so um very very nice engine smooth well well made nice castings all the welds look decent the plastics look good I said kyb front forks do an excellent job lots of travel there very very smooth very plush strong nissan brakes Metzatorance tyres, well, they're, they're a known quantity, they're very good. It has got um, a little tiny cat there, not a huge catalytic, catalytic converter, so it's not too ugly. Looks like you possibly could fit a centre stand there, there's a hole under there. So I think the high level exhaust system sort of suits this style of bike. What are your thoughts? Very, very comfortable seat. Very impressed with that indeed. Convenient grab handles. Six speed transmission is very smooth, and positive, smooth clutch. So, as I said, Vogue is a subsidiary of Lonsin. Lonsin make a lot of the engines for the BMWs. So off the side stand, moderate amount of effort to move it around, but all in all, not too bad at all. It's got a decent steering lock on it. So all good if you had to turn it around in your garage. Well, there we are guys, Vosges AC 525X. A great ride that really is good nice punchy engine smooth it looks cool in my opinion decent build quality and keenly priced so there you go guys um, post your comments down below let me know what you think about these Vosges models and the whole sort of you know uh, scrambler style is that your sort of thing and um, don't forget to give me a like share and subscribe to my channel and I'll catch you again in a week or so for another review all right guys bye for now